Hello YouTube, as you can see, today we are going to review Pelican knife. So I can truly say that probably this is one of the most scariest knife that I have. I really carry this knife on EDC very often. Let's have a closer look. So as you can see it's really authentic. It has a very special blade. Uh, on the knife market you will not find a blade with such a shape. So you can say it's a spear point with some drop over here. Later I will show you why do we have this part on the pelican knife. So yeah, it's a liner lock knife with the deep pocket uh, clip. But what's also important, the action is really beautiful. The action, as you can see, it's really beautiful. We have on this knife uh, ceramic ball bearings and the detent ball is also ceramic. The steel on this knife is uh, D2 as well on, on, on all our knives. We use D2 steel and it has a stone washed blade. So regarding some specs about this knife, uh, the weight is 3.97 ounces, so it's very handy, or 115, 16 grams, which is really, um, I would say, optimal for EDC knives. Then if we take the cutting edge, the cutting edge is 3.6 inches. Uh, the overall length is 8.6. 8 uh, handle length is 4.75. And the blade length itself, not the cutting edge, but the blade length, the blade length is 3.87 inches. Um, what else? Um, as you can see, the pocket clip is our screaming scum and it's reversible, so you can actually change the pocket. And yes, on this line, you can see the blue eyes, anodized blue. We made it uh, especially. Basically, we have uh, uh, three models. It's a Pelican, Arrow and uh, Sting. These are the three knives that we initially um, uh, produced with these three, with these blue eyes, and we de decided to continue them on these knives. Maybe for some other models we will do the same, but so far these are only three models. Actually, the base of this knife is the same as the base for the arrow, so you can see the handle is the same. The only difference is that uh, we have here the spacer which closes this part. So, uh, but initially arrows were also without this uh, liner hole. But on Pelican knife, we decided that it will stay as initially was designed. So no liner hole is, is here and we are not going to put any liner holes on Pelican. But actually for the liner hole we have here the, the part. So if you want to put the liner, well usually as you can see on my another knife, I carry the li uh, liner on the clip. I prefer to carry it like this because you can easily take it out and put the, this liner on the, another knife but also you can put the liner here but then it won't be a, a changeable so now this design uh, was uh, made um, especially uh, for the purpose of opening the knife from the uh, uh, pants so uh, from the pocket itself I will show you now this in a few moments 
but we know that you probably know that uh, this type of the feature is Emerson Wave, but we designed our own uh, way how this uh, can be uh, used. So as you can see, the, there is a two thumb studs and there is this part which allows to basically when you are pulling the knife, so this place will uh, be on your pocket and it helps the knife to open. What else? Um, I will quickly just disassemble this knife. We will show you it's pretty easy. So here we use uh, Torx 8. So here are the, the knife itself, the handle, and I will take out. Here is the, the blade itself, and here are the, the ball bearings that we are using on this knife. So as you can see, it's a brass type metal plus ceramic ball bearings. So these type of ball bearings are used on this knife. Uh, regarding disassembling the overall uh, knife, for this you will need to use the Torx 6. So as you can see, I'm not taking out this part because just to show you the liner inside. So here is the spacer. So when I said that you can put your liner, so you can disassemble the knife and put your liner in this place and assemble the, line, the knife. But why I do not carry on this liner uh, part because then you need to always disassemble so the liner itself is not changeable but I prefer to change the liner itself from one knife to another so that's how this knife looks inside so as you can see this is our uh, liner this is uh, our uh, detent ceramic detent ball um, and yeah it's pretty simple it's light as you can see this part so to make it lighter, so we have handles. And yes, what I also want to tell you that in case if you mm, uh, sometimes on our website, we uh, currently, I don't remember which colors do we have in stocks, but you can also together with this knife uh, purchase the other uh, color handles and let's say black or you can purchase the uh, carbon fiber or any other color which doesn't come with the pelican or if you have let's say pelican and uh, uh, arrow or sting you can change the handles also very easily on them so now let's quickly assemble this knife back so first what i will put i will put basically this liner and we'll Once again, it's uh, on this part we use Torx 6 and the pivot is on Torx 8. So as you can see, it's really easy to disassemble and assemble. So basically to clean the knife if you are using it, let's say for, uh, uh, and it's already pretty dirty, I don't know, with the blood or with fat or uh, some other materials and the product, so if you want to clean it up, it's not difficult at all.
And yes, uh, on the most of our knives, we try not to use uh, Loctite. We try not to use Loctite. Yeah, action is good, no blade play. So we try not to use the Loctite, but sometimes the Loctite is used. So in case if you are disassembling our knife and it's hard for you to disassemble, so you see that there is a Loctite, what you can easily, uh, what you can do, not to ruin the, um, uh, the Torx or your screwdriver, you just need to put it in the hot water, in a really, really hot water, for let's say the part with that you want to unscrew for let's say I don't know um, uh, 30 40 seconds and uh, the Loctite will, e uh, will, will be removed and you can easily unscrew the knife so that's probably all that I wanted to tell you it's pretty beautiful knife you know in my opinion where we, it stands out, really. And uh, yes, this knife is one of the most carriest knife that I, I carry. Uh, and yeah, also why I like this knife is basically, yes, yeah, sometimes you do the job like this. Sometimes uh, I do the job, I can put my finger here and another finger and I can do like job like this. And this place for me is very comfortable and that's also a, uh, the reason why we have this, this thing on this knife. Thanks for watching. I will appreciate if you will subscribe to our channel and of course please comment if you own a Pelican and how you like it or which our knives you own and what do you think about our knives and especially about the Pelican model. Thank you, take care and bye bye.